got a dopamine rush, got a major league crush when you're next to me. Got my heart upon my sleeve, can I hide the way I feel when you're next to me, girl? Swan Gully Ball Drive Park this weekend. Yep, we're out in Bow Desert just for one night. Just get a little episode for you guys. Um, we've just been around on some trucks, so we'll throw those clips in now. All right, guys, sorry if you can't hear me over the wind. Probably gonna air down to about 20 PSI. Just some uh, rocky trucks and stuff. Astro and Nick are just checking out this very steep holy truck. Astro's on a mission up the top of the hill. Pretty high. Yeah. Big bumps too, like. What do you reckon, Astro? He's so happy. Yeah? You reckon we can make it up? We're just coming down this hill. I don't know if you can see because of the light, but there's like a couple of little ruts down. It's pretty loose. Um, rocks and sand and stuff so don't know if we're gonna keep going that way or if we're gonna head down there but we'll see when it comes through And we just got back at camp. Back to camp? Back at camp. And we just got back to camp and there's actually a cow. Coming towards us. Right near our, right near our camp. So we've, Astro's in the car so that he doesn't have... So he doesn't go crazy. Crazy, but yeah, we are going to have some steak for dinner and some veggies. Uh, have and a then fire. hang out by the fire, really. Yeah. They already got fire pits like near the camp, so you just pick one. We're just gonna pop the trailer now and hang out. I'm just gonna take you on a little tour of our actual campsite. So they're quite big campsites. There's someone staying up there that you can see. There's another fire pit just up there. And if you follow this little truck up in here, there's all campsites up through there. Um, you can go up here to the tracks. We just went up there and they're not really that easy looking for an easy track. But anyways, we'll see how we go tomorrow. The sun setting over here and then we've got our van, got the car, our fire pit through there, we've got a cow grazing on some nice green grass, some more campsites down there, sorry for the wind, um, some fire pits all around like here, some over down there, um, just down the hill is the toilets and showers if you want, uh, I think it's a two dollar coin for a shower. And you can use the toilets but yeah so you can head there's all tracks all out there and there's also some if you keep going up past those ones the whole way around and on the other side too it's a really nice night a little bit of a cool breeze which is good because it's about 30 degrees <laughs> and we yeah we're gonna set the van up and just chill out for a bit we're just setting up the bed and we came outside and that cow was right there <laughs> spot. We have to pin down our mat for once. Now we're all popped up. Got the windows open. Just gonna make the bed quick and then we're ready. Back broke something. Like. <laughs> Caught on camera breaking the sticker. Oh my goodness. Beck is getting some firewood from a pile over there. Truck's parked up. Astro's hanging out. We got our little campsite here. Nice little campsite set up. 
Astro fire pit. There's a little dam down there. So yeah, the closest camper is obviously all the way over there and all the way over there. So, so good. Such a good little spot. Uh, we didn't really tackle any tracks today. We will go on some more harder tracks tomorrow. Uh, we don't have rock sliders, so we have to be a bit careful on some harder tracks. We've got to take the high line and just take it easy, really. Um, but you can still have some fun. As I said earlier, we dropped the pressure to 20 pound. Um, so that helps your tires just like undulate over all the rocks and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so that's what we're doing. Probably start cooking dinner soon. Have a fire and just chill out. Do some editing. Be <laughs> Beck's chopping the wood. <laughs> Come here, buddy. You gonna hit that thing or cuddle it? Come on. Okay, come here. Go. It's gonna take me all night. Pretty hard, isn't it? We're just enjoying the peace and quiet out here with not many people around. Nick's just headed down to the bathroom and Astro is just sitting here waiting for him. Waiting, sniffing because he knows that he went that way staring. But you were playing with your toy. Where did it go? He knows where it is, but he's waiting for Nick to come back. Astro! Not interested because he's waiting for Nick. And he knows he went this way. Going for an adventure with our mighty long rope, just so that he can go zigzagging and sniff everything. It's really nice here, like big open grassy sites. A little bit of a hill through, but pretty even. Sunset's over there, which means we're gonna get the morning sunrise from over here. Okay guys. We've been seeing what we thought were snake tracks, which could quite also be snake tracks, but there's like a little goanna. Oh, I don't know the actual name, but it looks like a goanna. It's a lizard, it's probably two feet long, and it just crawled in that little log. Let's see if it'll come out. I don't know where it goes from there. What do you think of the track, Beck? Not too bad. Beck scouting out that track for tomorrow. Beck's gone up the hill. We're going to head back soon. And we're going to chuck on the stake. Um, quick side note, there's so much rubbish around our campsite. We've picked up so much rubbish already. We'll take all that out with us. But if you are camping at these parks and all that, make sure you take your rubbish home. Don't put your beer cans on the fire and all that sort of stuff. It's so stupid. It just ruins it for the next person. Um, it contaminates the fire pit and you can't cook on it. So yeah, won't rave on, but pick up your rubbish. Okay guys, um, I'm just cooking steak for dinner. Beck's chilling out, reading a book. Astro's outside. The fire is cranking out there. Astro's down there. Anyway, we're just cooking dinner. Gonna have steak and veggies tonight. Sit out by the fire and sort of just relax this afternoon. Um, and go to bed early. That's about it. Uh, if we do anything exciting, I'll film it. If not, we'll see you in the morning. Just stoking the fire back up. Got the lights on so I can see the firewood out there. Pretty nice night, so still. Astro and I are just out for a little morning walk. The sun is just rising over the hill. Such 
put him right down there. Oop, he's swinging me around. He's just having a wander around. We just made it to the top of that track, which we'll probably come back and do in the car. But have a look at the view we've got. The sun is rising over the mountains. So nice. So all along the track, so we've just come up the top of that little peak and then we've followed it down this way. And there's actually all little campsites. So if you're camping or with a rooftop tent or something, obviously we wouldn't have brought the van up just for safety reasons, I guess, up the track. But this is a little campfire and look at the view you can have. Awesome. Good morning, guys. I just woke up. Bex going for a run right now. I'm just going to make some coffee and it's such a nice day outside. I just made the bed. Astro is chilling down there. He was up all night. He freaking woke up like every couple of hours. Um, in the end, he just wanted to go sit outside. So about 3.30, he was just sitting on his lead outside. Um, but he loved it. So yeah, I'm just going to make some coffee. Just had a shower. Uh, there's a couple more people here this morning. Um, but that's good. Might have someone to pull us out. So I'll quickly just show you how we make coffee in the morning. So you'll notice this PowerPoint here is different to this one down here. Um, that one is the only one in the van that runs off our inverter. So our inverter is located under this, under there. It is a, So it's a 2000 watt inverter, um, runs this power point. So we just simply plug it in, turn this on. While that's heating up, this is also a filtered water faucet. So let's pull that up there, get the pump on, put that under there. Fill that up, just enough for the coffees. enough just for two coffees okay that's there so now they've gone green they're ready to go and this is our milk frother so we'll come around to the fridge inside here we've got both our different milks shut that up this also will tell us so if we turn that on this will tell us how many amps we're drawing so 5.3 at the moment because we got those plugged in and we're, but we're getting seven amps of solar so we're sweet open this up up here we keep our coffee in our messy cupboard so we just made the shot there that's ready to go there's a little line inside here that says max. I think you fell to the first one, back. Yeah, to the first one. Is this your first time making coffee for me? Yep. On a, in a van? I slept in, so I feel bad. <laughs> yeah, usually I make the coffee for us, but oh, you can see our really clean, neatly stacked containers in there. Yeah, I've said that before. <laughs> so now if you look in there, it's like frothing. We're mixing it up. It's a really cool little thing. Such a good little setup to have. If you come over here, we're drawing only five amps. And at the moment we have 6.4 amps of solar. You can see it a bit better now. So we're actually charging while we're making coffee. And we only had 160 watts or 140 watts. I'll put the correct measurement on the screen now, um, of solar. So it's pretty good. Um, and then we just have 200 amp hour uh, deep cycle batteries under the lounge. So the shot's ready to go. It smells delicious. This thing just stops when it's ready? Yeah, it just stops. It'll stop being red and you'll be able to see that it's ready. Okay. So, I attempted to make pancakes. Back had to come and save the day. It's pretty loud in here because of the exhaust fan. But, it's very stuck to the pan. I got a couple out. <laughs> Time for some maple syrup. We just packed up from Brookie and Nick packed up the rubbish as you guys just saw. 
now we're gonna head off to the tracks. Yeah, we're just gonna go. There's a green track, we'll just stick for that for the morning. So green is easy to medium, yellow is medium to hard, and then black is you need to have winch and diff lockers, I think it said. Yep. So. Okay, we're gonna do the track that Astro and I walked up this morning. I am looking very fashionable with my shorts and singlet and my nice runners because it is so soft that in anything but runners you just literally slip and slide and can't get up the hill. So I'm just going to make our way up and Nick's going to follow us. about halfway up the hill very rocky and unstable I'm sure how we're gonna go getting up this little bit to be honest with you you can't see but it's just like straight rocks down there looks all right it's a few holes that shouldn't be too bad example of why you always walk the track first. Just up ahead of us here is a big rock step. It doesn't look like much on camera as always but that little rock right in front of us now is probably about two feet high and it's just straight up right in the middle of the track. So we just tried to come up with a plan to get over this little hump it's like just a straight drop for like, what did you say, about half a meter, you reckon? Oh yeah, 300 mil. So we're just gonna, well Nick is packing it up with some rocks so that one side can get through and use this line here. A bit hard to see in the sun, but we'll see how we go. That should be all not too bad. Maybe this next section's a little bit harder. But I don't know if you can tell how steep this hill is. It's really this steep. This green track. Um, not too bad, but it's definitely a bit of a challenge. That's good. It's very slippery though. Like you can't walk in shoes or anything. Down it, you just slide. Nick's car, the reason we stopped is because there was a rock. Yeah. There was a rock that the tyre slid off. So that was why we stopped just to move that. But let's see how he goes up this one. I've moved a little bit further up just so that if he needs to put some power in he can keep on going. Good effort. guys this is where Asher and I walked to this morning up the top of this hill it was a lot faster in the car looking out at the mountains 
So we might head back down that way. We're not sure yet, but just admiring the view. Astro's out for a little run. I have no idea what he's doing, but he's obviously chosen a different line to then, to then, than what he was gonna do. Good thinking. I'm directing him with hand signals. Sorry for not concentrating. Right, we're stopped again. We have to choose, do we go with line A or do we go with line B? <sighs> we're just gonna have a little look to see if they meet up. Safe, sorry. We're going to check line A and Astra's going to check out line B. <laughs> I'm yeah. I'm going with Astra now. Coming up the first little rise that's on the left, so he's taking the right hand line, which was very easy. And then we've just got this one here that he's gonna have to get up. Which was also very easy compared to the last one that we did just earlier. As we're going down these tracks, we're just taking in the view, well, I am in Astro's trying to eat the fly. <laughs> you can see it, but we're just, uh, so nice. yeah, it's such a nice view and we're just heading down. It's pretty hot. All right, again, not sure what track to take because it's just so rocky and so many holes. Like I've walked maybe 10 meters and I'm not even eye level with the car. I'm having to hold the camera up, so. Oops, nearly lost the car. It's a little bit of a uneven path, this one. Not sure what he's planning, but we'll ask. Which one are you planning on taking down here? Yeah, I think you can see the tire tracks, like there and there. Stay as high as I can. Rightio, we'll watch from here. Most of the way down the green track, it's been pretty easy so far. Yeah. Been not too bad. Um, as we said earlier in the video, we have the pressures down to 20 psi. Make sure you drop your pressures, otherwise they won't go over the rocks and stuff and grip on the rocks as easy um, as it does with lower pressure. And a couple, once I put in the rear locker when we went up that real steep hill. The first part was the hardest part of the track so, so far. far. So far. Yeah, we just let the dog have go to the toilet and we just came down there. Now we're gonna go down that way and see what's down there. Which looks really steep. <laughs> yeah.
Okay, so we're just gonna go up this green trap. It's pretty rutted out through there and there, so I'm gonna straddle it up there and there, and then head up around the corner there. There's a real hectic track up here, around the corner. It's quite slippery, this too. It's long, as hard packed as it looks, it's actually quite slippery. It's almost got like a bulldust feel on top in the dust. And then it continues up around the corner here. That's green as well. But there is one that I don't know if this is a track or not, but this one here is crazy. Look at this. I don't know if anyone drives down here. There are tire traps. Look at this. Just like a cliff. Surely people don't drive down this. Literally a cliff. They almost drive down there and back out there. Stupid. It's like vertical. Anyway, we won't be doing that. We'll head up that way. I don't know if you guys can tell how steep this hill is, but Nick has me, well, I offered to film from outside the car. He looks so little down there. It's uh, a few little like rock drop-offs and they kind of zigzag along this like 100 meter stretch. So you gotta be pretty careful which line you put your tires on. He's chosen a good path so far. Oh my god. Nick's gonna make his way up here and then we gotta keep heading up that there. If it's anything to go by, that's a campsite all the way down there. It's very steep. We're not even halfway up this hill. And plenty more to go. Astro and I are spectating this one. So he's not going to go the high line anymore. He's going to go the lower side and see what happens. Stay here, buddy. Got through pretty good. Astro is following closely. I'm a bit further behind. Stop to take it all in, Astro. This bit here is alright. This track over here. On the other hand, looks a little bit tougher, a little bit rougher. Keep going, yep. Nick said he's just gonna keep going, so we don't know whether to take this left loop, left side, and stay close to there and go up that side, or if he comes on this right side that I'm standing on, but he has to go through there. He's decided to take the 
well it looks like we're on the left but the right line from where I was just talking about. Made it through pretty easy. Just lots of loose rocks or big rocks that everything else has been washed away in the rain. So it's a big rise up to it. Not sure who's having more fun. Nick, me running, or the dog up here. We've just come over another little rise. We had to give way to a couple of cars coming up, but we got down here pretty easy. Now it's just through here, so. I don't know if you can see it up, upcoming is quite steep. It doesn't look like it's too um, rocky or anything yet that I can see, but it is quite a steep hill. Astro's after the little birds that he can hear. Up this way, buddy. He's gone off to be a jungle dog. And Nick's coming down, or coming up, sorry. Astro and Beck are going for a run down the hill while I drive down the hill. Good little tracks. We went all the way at the top. Um, There's a real rutted out section, which we probably could have got through, but it was sliding down the hill. Um, we didn't have anyone with us, so we didn't take the risk. We just came back the way we came. We came in. Now we're just heading back to camp. Along this road, we got one more little downhill section, and then we'll be at camp. Um, and then that's it. We're gonna pack up and head home. We're at the very end of the track. We found the tipping point. <laughs> What's this? His back right tire is not touching the ground. The front left. Not touching? That's all that's just touching the ground. It's not actually physical. Yeah, you can see that it's just off the ground. Thanks for watching, guys. That's another video done. If you like this one, leave a like, and if you want to see more, subscribe.